Hi guys, hope you guys are in good health. If you're watching me for the first time, then a small introduction. I am Diksha Shetty and my husband was tested COVID positive and he's doing perfectly fine now. So in today's video, I'll talk about recovery which may be of some help. I know the video and the audio is a mismatch. I did not want to upload anything depressing and sad. So please hear me out. So coming to COVID recovery, the strength of virus and the effect it shows on the body is highest during the first seven days. Kiran lost his smell and taste on the third day, had body aches, diarrhea, fever, coughing and weakness has the symptoms. The other symptoms gradually reduced as week progressed. Only the absence of smell and taste and slight coughing remained. It's already 18th day now, but still he cannot smell or taste. It is very well known that anyone who's sick gets weak. But in COVID, people are more troubled with fatigue and muscle weakness. I've seen people who had lost around 10 kgs due to COVID. Having a proper diet is very important. Due to lack of smell and taste, the craving to eat anything is half lost. In such times, if one is eating less, then it is very important to drink fluids at good quantity to keep body well hydrated. Drinking at least 3 liters of water and juices will put some energy back. Since Kiran's WPC's lymphocytes were very low, the diet I followed is morning I would give him one glass of warm milk with protein X powder and for breakfast it would be upma, omelette or dosas followed with a glass of juice. I would uh, juice carrot, beetroot, apple and ginger and a fruit salad an hour before lunch and second in the late evening proper lunch with rice, sabji, dal and roti. He couldn't achieve a roti after the third day because of his weakness so I would only give him rice. Later in the evening I would give him a lemon juice or tender coconut water and for dinner I would serve something very light like khichdi and then a glass of warm milk with turmeric before sleeping. I'll share lunch recipes which I served him in my next video. Good nutrition is crucial for health, particularly in times when the immune system might need to fight back. It's also important to understand and be practical when treating the sick. Sometimes due to care and love, we tend to make things which might end up being waste. Hence, proper planning and management of food is also very important. I have some tips for you guys. First of all, plan your day. Ask the person what he wants to eat for lunch and dinner. This would give them good interest and feeling while eating. Then prepare home cooked meals only. As the food from restaurants cannot be trusted for quality and level of spices or oil. And be aware of portion sizes. Cook in limited quantities so that there is no waste. You could always add a fruit platter to your meals which is best supplement and source of energy. Follow safe food handling practices. We had dedicated two plates and a glass cap separately for Kiran. Kiran used to wash his plates and glass separately after use. We used the same plates and glass for entire two weeks till he came out of isolation. Most people who are ill with COVID-19 will be able to recover at home provided they start the treatment at right time. It's very important to consult a doctor about your medical condition and start with treatment right from day one without neglecting. For somebody who is still not ready to accept the seriousness of this virus spread, 
talk to someone from the family who is struggling to find a bed in hospital people are traveling cities to get admitted in hospitals there is shortage of medicines oxygen and right medical care When the industry shut down in 2020 people celebrated of having clean environment for animals and us but is that a solution our economic social and normal life have turned upside down humans are the substance of evolution we have lived with dinosaurs and survived evolution is nature's way to clean up and bring out the best I have a big hope that we would survive these times too. I do not know if the new normal as they call is good or bad, but I am hopeful our best version will evolve.